Tara, this morning I was going through submissions and looking through and checking the internet. It finally happened. This last Friday, there were no bikes, no riots, no tramplings. Probably not even very much harsh language. There was no Black Friday history this year at all. None reported anywhere in the United States of America. Really? Like not even just like nothing big enough to make like national news. Our long national nightmare is over. I don't know about that. I mean, I feel like if you're working retail, you're neck deep in nightmare right now anyway. Well, for different reasons, though. It's not yeah. like it's not like all compressed to the one day like we used to have to do. Well, so that means, yeah, we have no Black Friday Follies. It's it's finally over. Weird. And I'm not sad about it. No, hell no. I it's we are a better people for leaving Black Friday behind. We are we are. A better, stronger I, people. I do sometimes miss just being able to wander a mall. Yeah. Well, you can still wander a mall. You know? There's just hardly any stores in there. Right. There's just no point. But I do <laughs> sort of miss being able to just wander a mall, you know? But that is dying, if not dead. I'm just, I'm happy that yeah. Black Friday, Black Friday was one of the stupidest yeah. things we'd ever invented but now it's what's weird is and it's better but they're like black friday month and i'm like that those words don't make sense no and a lot of people are pointing out um that the deals weren't really all that good especially there's no. there was one video that went viral on tiktok about a lady going through the target and pulling the, like there's a sign that said black friday deal Six hundred forty nine dollars. And she like slid it out of the case. And there's just the regular sign behind it. Six hundred forty dollars. Without being uh, like all of the team. Like, she went to a bunch of different things. And just pulled, yeah. So that's also probably having an effect on it, too. Well, anyway. We still had Thanksgiving and we still had some. F F we had a lot of. F F so let's get to the F F free, I guess. There's always free, thank God. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little something we call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And while Black Friday may be dying, there is another Thanksgiving tradition in America that is still going strong and as concerning as ever. Um, Deep fried turkey. How did you know? Like, because bang, we're so you were fucking right, stupid. You were <laughs> right there. You were right there. Right on it. Um, I I don't even with this shit. The fuck. This one's got a twist to it. Turkey fryer explodes in North Carolina home, blows out windows. Now, wait till we get what? Now, it's like happened. turkey fryer, the euphemism for like Uncle Carl. <laughs> after he ate a little too much. Burlington, North Carolina. A family is lucky to be alive after their turkey fryer exploded in their home. Early Wednesday pictures. on Thanksgiving Eve in Burlington, North Carolina, a propane tank fueling a turkey fryer exploded. The explosion was so strong, it blew out the windows in the back of the house. They were outdoors, right? No. You can't do this shit inside the house. Oh, it gets worse. Investigators say the person cooking the turkey fell asleep and left the boiling oil unattended. 
No. Now, for those of you who are not in the United States of America, a turkey fryer is essentially gas, fire, and a big pot full of peanut oil. Yeah, it's a giant bucket of boiling oil. Yeah. You know, like you used to dump on the peasants from the top of the castle? Yeah. Boiling flammable oil, very flammable oil. Um, and what they do is they lower the turkey into it. And one of the common mistakes with this is you have to thaw the turkey first. Because if you try to deep fry a frozen turkey, explosion! Bad things happen. Also, so, you know, try not to fall asleep. Man, I know you have that turkey coma, but maybe wait until after you actually tur cook the turkey. I like the quote, like, fell asleep and left the boiling oil unattended. Next paragraph. And that is dangerous. <laughs> Burlington Battalion Chief Daniel Schaffner said. You don't say. So, uh, fire reportedly caused around a hundred, and that's terrible. <laughs> fire reportedly caused around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in damage to the structure. No one was seriously hurt. Investigators say to never fry a turkey inside, and stay at least ten feet away from anything that can catch fire. They really did that shit inside. They did. Who that doesn't shit know inside? that by now? Many, many people. It's like this like, is you, you would think just like basic survival instinct would be like, you know, maybe five gallons of boiling oil inside my home is not a great idea. You would think just like your caveman brain would kick in and be like, no, no, no one think, die oil outside. You would think, but no, no, no. And the thing is, I've had deep fried turkey and it's. Not even that much better. No, it really is. It's it's a it's a little it's a little juicier, but who gives a fuck? You're going to smother it in gravy anyway. It's it's a production number is mainly what it is. Yeah. Well, like we're doing said, all this don't for fry what? turkeys in the house. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Um it has been many a long year since we had the TSA finally installed. In in uh, in security positions in the United States of America, protect us as we are traveling here, there, and everywhere. And it's good to know they are the 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 thin line protecting us from from such dastardly individuals, cunning, cunning criminals and terrorists who would try to pass weapons in the most insidious ways, like. Bread. TSA recovers knife hidden in loaf of bread at SeaTac Airport. TSA says recovered a knife hidden in loaf of bread. It made its way through security through a Seattle Tacoma International Airport on Wednesday. Uh, TSA spokesman uh, Lori Dankers said the incident is a perfect example of what people tried to do to conceal items when traveling. Quote, in that loaf of bread was a knife. Someone had stuck a knife in the middle of the loaf of bread because they wanted to take the knife to the checkpoint. They thought the x-ray wouldn't detect that. Well, of course it did, said Dankers. Lead. Lead. An x-ray can't see through lead. I know that rhymes with bread. <laughs> But those two letters are very important. <laughs> I also, who the fuck tries to take a loaf of bread yeah. through airport security? <laughs> Where did you eat? Like, did you bring that with you or did you? Because there's nowhere in the airport you can no, buy a whole ass loaf of bread. They don't sell of bread at the airport. So why are you bringing a whole loaf of bread to security and only to mangle it? That doesn't <laughs> look suspicious at all. I it's... really, I really like carbs. The fuck? 
I mean, if th- this is the quality of criminal we have that the TSA can actually catch. So, and it's keto bread. It's not even good bread. It's, so it's not even it's bread without carbs, which is a fucking oxymoron, by the way. And I understand some people literally cannot have like gluten. So I don't, you know, I don't shit on gluten free bread, but carb free bread. That's not food. The race to beat the surge of oh, holiday shut up, travelers shut up. has begun shut up, as shut up, more than a million up, shut up, people shut up, are expected up, to travel up, through SeaTac Airport. Up, Stupid tabs. You remember when keto was called Atkins? I do. You kids don't know this. Keto used to have a whole different brand. Yeah. But then the doctor who invented it whacked his head falling off a Segway and died. And for some reason, that meant they had to rebrand his diet. Yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out how this plan came to fruition, and I just can't. I, 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 it's, it's, the numbers, they don't click. It's, it's like. No. The it's, math ain't mathin, as the whippersnappers say. It's like two plus two equals banana. <laughs> I don't get it. And also, like, why was it so important to you to bring your knife on the plane? Why couldn't you check it? I, yeah, you can, like, it's not even it's not even like a gun, like a knife. You can check that shit. There's no problem. They're not going to fuck with you over that. You can check a knife. So why was it so important to carry it on? I checked the whole tool like I'm kind of glad you're stupid. What is this dipshittery? Now, not all, because of this, because you were so bad at this, you're probably not flying again. Yeah. Ever. Well, maybe you're not. on a list so, now. They, yes, they're going to be watching for when you go to the grocery store to buy more fucking bread. Uh, no have, more bread for you. You've more. lost your bread privileges. We have more air, airplane stuff. This has video, but I'm not playing the video. So that should tell you something just from the get-go. Because normally I'm like, we got video and I'm happy to show you what happened. I'm not happy to show you this one. We're, we're not, we're not going to leave some things to your imagination here. You're going to be a little sad that it's in your imagination. I gotta go pee. Woman pulls, whoa, there, kids, part of it right there. Woman pulls pants down in aisle during Florida flight. Woman riding a Frontier Airlines flight flashed for her fellow passengers on Monday after her pulling her pants down mid-flight. The woman, who has not been publicly identified, was reportedly one of several passengers heading to Philadelphia from Florida. Footage shared with News 6 by Pastor Julie Hartman shows the woman saying, quote, sorry, everybody, before pulling down her pants and squatting in the aisle. Well, no, that that sorry's not going to cover that. No. That. The woman, like, I know Frontier sucks, but they do have bathrooms on the plane, right? The woman indicated she intended to relieve herself in the aisle after reportedly being told she couldn't use the bathroom by a flight attendant. Probably because they were still climbing, you have to keep your seat with your seatbelt on. First, wait to get to the seat. Other passengers of the flight be heard shouting at her, shouting at her with one saying there are children on the plane. However, she was seen pulling her pants back up before yelling, quote, I don't give a fuck. No, fuck you. I gotta go pee eventually walked away and confronted a flight attendant. Meanwhile, another passenger started saying that poor little boy, like referring to the young boy in the seat next to where the woman dropped her pants. In the video, the woman was seen confronting several of the other passengers aboard the flight while screaming and cursing. So, um, she's also going to be on a list oh, yes, now, by yeah. the way, because she exposed herself to a minor. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's you don't a, get to do that. That's a yeah. That's like there are these people who get so worked up. They get an idea in their head. Like it's like they've seen too many movies where like at the end the underdog hero gets put up on everybody's shoulders and it's like it's fucking Rudy and shit. And they figure, well, my big dem demonstrative activity will inspire you all to, to rally We're around me. We're going to pee on the plane. Everybody pee on the plane. Come on. No, no, no. Even if you no. win that, everybody loses. Yes. Yes. But also, I'd like to point out, there is no way she had to go that bad. Because I don't know about you, but if I am desperately in need of peeing the second the pants are off i'm peeing psychologically the switch flips in the brain yeah yeah it's one of the really bad ones yeah yeah like it shuts off the ability to hold it if you have to go that bad the second you are no longer clothed you're peeing so she didn't have to go that bad sit sit your ass down just, just so irritating why are people this fucking irritating i'm like you were then going to have to sit through the whole flight. Right. Having peed on the carpeted aisle. Right. And like, not only was everybody else going to have to deal with that, but so were you. Or they were going to deplane everybody because now the flight is not sanitary. And you were going to have to wait however long it took to clean and or get another plane. Well, see, Tara, those are consequences. And consequences are for other people. Yeah. Yeah. She's special. Everybody's the fucking main character. Yup. Except they don't mention they're the main character in a farce. So. <sighs> Jeez, Jeff, the fucking just, just fuck. This does not make anything better. This is also like, assuming you're early enough, always pee before you board. Because I don't even, I will, I will avoid peeing on an airplane as much as I possibly can because it's so tiny. And, and it's like, not pleasant. It's not a pleasant experience. No, they do their best to keep it clean, but they can't, you know. Can. It's, so it's I, yes. I do my damnedest to not have to pee on a plane. What are you doing, sir? Goofy things, probably. Hi, excuse me. What are you doing? B bad things. I just hear random rustling, scratching sounds. What are you doing? So stop it, you big weirdo. We have yet another of the uh, "Do you know who I am?" sort of things going on. Um, this one's actually. I guess you have to debate whether this is worse or better. Probably a lot worse for him in, in a more immediate way. Uh Man who drove through Richmond crime scene could face very serious charges. You think? Richmond, Virginia. The man who drove through a barrier and nearly hit several officers investigating a fatal shooting in Richmond Southside Friday night could face very serious charges. Officers were called to Dinwiddle out of Dinwiddie? Dinwiddie. It's that is spelled really weird. Dinwiddie. D-I-N-W-I-D-D-I-E. Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie Avenue. Report of a person shot. Um, that is where a, per a woman suffering from a pair of uh, gunshot wounds pronounced that scene. While officers worked the crime scene, an SUV broke through a pol police barrier at Boston Avenue. Reporter John Burke was on the scene with captured video of the vehicle driving recklessly. Burke said the SUV missed a police cruiser by inches and then fishtailed as it neared officers. Obviously, we have the entire scene blocked off with crime scene tape. Many marked police cars with their lights flashing, and this individual drove through, almost hitting some officers. They will stop that person. It'll be charged, charging the person appropriately. Police took off and pursued the driver, later identified by multiple sources as Dijon Isaiah Bates. That's attorney Todd Stone said the driver could face a felony eluding charge once the driver was stopped 
Uh, Crime Insider sources said he would not comply. As a result, officers had to use a taser and a canine. Charged with assaulting a police dog. Now you have a charge regarding the officers he could have hit. Look, you can be as a cab as you want. Yep. The fucking dog. The dog is not making don't, decisions. Don't fuck with the dog. Don't fuck with the dog. Dog. Dog is literally just doing his job. But it's like it is literally you are looking at a hornet's nest. That's what the active crime scene is. There is law enforcement fucking everywhere. They have the lights and they have the tape and they have all the. This is not a place to make waves. Like it's like but those. He had somewhere to be. Like those motherfuckers who are driving down the highway and the, like the the interstate gets clogged. So they're like they get on the fucking um median and try to drive around everybody. Yeah. Or the people that rock it up the shoulder when there's traffic. Yeah, you're you're the you're half the reason there's traffic, jackass. Except you know, in this instance, you did it in front of cops. Police cars, a fucking reporter videotaping your ass. And you're like, nah, I can honestly, depending how far along they are in the investigation, you could have run over the victim. Mm -hmm. Because uh, nah. there's a certain point of time in a crime scene where they're not allowed to move shit until they have all the evidence collected. It's it's like when you're shoplifting, they're not allowed to chase you, right? That's how that works. We covered that. Yeah. What in the... Dude, stop it. What it's is so it? weird. Like, this is guaranteed immediate jail. Like, right away. It's like instant. And you're like, no, nah, I got... Yeah. What are they, what are they going to do? Pull me over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for starters. Like, what were you thinking? They were all too busy to chase your ass? Have you met the police? Now, on top of all the like fleeing and motor vehicle charges, you've obstructed a crime scene. Yeah, they don't like that. No. And the woman who got shot to death, God forbid, like you fucked up enough evidence to mess yeah. up the trial if they catch the person, get ready for her family to sue you. All because your ass needed to get to, like, what? What What the fuck? You had the Krispy Kreme or some shit? They were closing. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So this next one, I know we say on this show, one of, one of our taglines I've used on the show quite often was, the old drugs still work. Which is... Uh, uh, Trying to exhort you not to go out and try the latest chemical madness brewed in someone's bathtub. I don't even know why we keep making new drugs. I except, don't feel like we need to. Except while the old drugs still work, that doesn't mean you just go to town willy and nilly. Because otherwise, this could be you. Is that a Gallagher brother? <laughs> Reference. No, Damn. it looks like one though, doesn't it? Damn. Doesn't it though? Georgia man wearing chicken suit, high on mushrooms, arrested after rampage through neighborhood. Okay. Georgia man. Oh, God fucking no fuck who wrote this <laughs> who did this <laughs> Allie Goulrich Allie Goulrich fuck you <laughs> a Georgia man came afoul of deputies but the expression is ran afoul yeah Allie. when they said he got high on mushrooms Put on a chicken suit and became disorderly. Sheriff Howard. Like you do. Uh, Sheriff Howard Sill said on November 19th, a woman called to report that her ex-boyfriend had, quote, basically gone nuts on mushrooms and was, quote, 
beating on passing by cars and screaming and hollering at them. Well, I mean, he was trying to cross the road. <laughs> Come on. Were we really going to just leave that there? Bad. No. How long how long have you known me? No. <laughs> Officers responded to a neighborhood near Lake Oconee where they found 47-year-old Jason Pinch. Sir. Walking through a neighborhood, pounding vehicles with his fists. He was wearing what officers described as a yellow onesie-style pajama outfit meant to resemble a chicken. Pinch continued to beat on passing cars and even the patrol car. Pinch repeatedly asked deputies if they were real and if he was real. Oh, honey. After he was taken into custody, Pinch continued to ask the officers were real and, quote, if he was at that time laying in his hammock at home. No. And... Why the chicken suit, unfortunately, would have been the question I asked, Sill said. But, but did you? What? This is like coming into the third act of a Will Ferrell movie. Yeah. Right? Like, this is. I mean, <laughs> if it was a onesie, maybe just because it was cozy. Because some of those onesies are damn comfortable. Mushrooms are one of those things that if you are going to do this, and kids don't do drugs, but if you are going to do drugs, this is the supervision drug. This is the one where somebody needs to be around to babysit That's what I have ass. been told. But, like, you need Sober Sister to keep an eye on your shit, because it's going to get weird. And it very, it, it actually did, because... You might wind up dressed like a chicken, running around trying to beat up the cars. Having an existential crisis at the same time. No, I don't know. I'm in my hammock, bro. Am I real? You can't arrest me, because I'm, I'm not even here. Take that. You're not even real. <sighs> like, you're, you're, this is not philosophy 101, pal. You're real and you're going to yeah. jail, which is also real. You're going I have to, cuffs, therefore I am. <laughs> you're going to jail in a chicken outfit. So. Yeah, you are. It's a conversation starter. One more this week, and I don't know how something so terrible and yet so perfect can blend together like this. This is, this is from uh, Walt Disneyland, um, California IA. Full circle. Full circle. Disneyland Park guests arrested after stripping off clothes on It's a Small World ride. Bro. Bro. That ride is upsetting enough. You're pulling your dick out at a ride where a bunch of tiny animatronic children are singing about how small things are. Yeah. I don't think you thought this one through. Or you're crushingly insecure. I need to be like, no, it's not. 
Disneyland Park guest in Anaheim, California, was arrested and escorted off the properties by local authorities after stripping off their clothes during the It's a Small World attraction. Oh, said, so we don't know if it was a if it was a penis situation. No, it was. They they got the guy. It was a guy. It was oh, in fact okay. it, yes. Well, it was it was a it was a person who identified as male with the penis. Yes. Um, incident happened on Sunday afternoon during the busy Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Disneyland Resort representative told Deadline the guests got off the ride while it was in motion. They tracked to the stop when park operators were made aware of the situation. After the guest was detained, the person was removed from the property altogether. Pretty booked by Anaheim Police Department. The small world was shut down for about an hour as park ex- operators inspected the attraction. No guests were harmed. The ride resumed operations about 3 p.m. local time. Vince, uh, a video of the incident went viral on social media with clips being shared. One video showed the guests walking through the sets of It's a Small World without a shirt on. The video shows the person sitting and touching the animatronics that decorate the ride. One guest is heard telling the streaker to, quote, please stop and sit down. As they made their way through one of the scenes of the ride set in India. Another park guest is heard worrying the person might ruin and cause damage to the props. <laughs> that last picture there from Twitter is just, it kind of says everything. No one in anywhere in this article asked that's the important question. Why? That, that's an ongoing motif with us. Yeah. It's been over a decade of this shit, and nobody ever asked why. Like, I, it, what happened to those people who had like those little fedoras on with the press sign tucked yeah. in the band? Get your ass a microphone over there and ask you, excuse me, sir, why did you pull your dick out in Disneyland? Where is my Lois Lane? Probably not near people's naked dicks because you know she has better things to do. She is Lois Lane, but you know, get the intern, somebody, Jimmy somebody. Olsen, that He's Jimmy Olsen, that shit, right? Love of fucking God, and like this couldn't have been like. There's nothing sexy on that ride, so this had One to be like a prank, right? I mean, One yeah, you'd like to think. Would hope, yeah. Like, if you're getting an erection to the sound of small children and a chorus of it's a small, small world, something has gone awry in your life. Yeah. You should find a professional to speak to about that. It's- Stop and that's it. not that's not a joke. Like yeah. you should you should you should talk to somebody about that who can help you. Uh Cree Ravella says a lot of kids at my school would use it as a makeout ride. It's because it's dark in there. Well, yeah, I mean teenagers will will start Teenager, slobbering. Teenagers yeah. will yeah. use any place where you're not like yeah. supervised as a makeout place. Yeah, it's it's Normally, they don't get naked by themselves. That just makes it weird. Yeah. I guess I the first thing we learned is sometimes in life, the confluence of terrible things will come together and, and bring us someone pulling their dick out at it's a small world. There's no consciousness of what... We've learned that... Um, while the old drugs still work, sometimes they work really fucking well. Yeah. Make sure you have someone to tag in, or you are going to be trying to take on motorized vehicles with your bare knuckles. Not And you're going to lose. Yes. We learned you are not special enough to drive through a crime scene. Pretty sure. Are you Columbo? Mm-hmm. Are you? Are you Columbo? Are you Peter Falk? Are you? Okay, don't do it. Fuck I know. Me. I know your kindergarten teacher said everyone is special, and in ways that that there are ways in which that is true. Everyone is not that kind of special. 
in conjunction with that, you are not special enough to pull off your pants in a plane to make a point. No. You're, you're, you're not that special. If you were that special, you wouldn't be flying coach. If for any reason you're just disrobing in public and it's not specifically your job to do so, mm-hmm. you're probably wrong. Yeah. Unless it's specifically your job, which is fine. Yeah. Or you're like covered in bees. I mean, I could see that one. I could see that one. Sure. Right. Sure. Sure. You know, like if bees get in your clothes, you do what you got to do. But like in like 90% of cases, if you're disrobing in public, you're probably wrong. Um, we have learned that s- someone will attempt to smuggle a knife through an x-ray machine and a loaf of bread. I would have respected it if you would at least picked an unsliced loaf and tried to be like, I need it to cut the bread. <laughs> I mean, if you're wondering where the lead was, it's in the drinking water. So, yeah. And finally, we've learned this week, the turkey fryer ideally shouldn't go outside, preferably shouldn't be there in the first place. I feel like that's one of those inventions that aliens that hate us might have just dropped and waited for us to destroy ourselves. <laughs> like, no, just give them this thing. Trust me. Fucking they got like 10 years Kodos with a big pot and a bucket of peanut yes. oil from Walmart. Like, I have the perfect plan. 